Virtue is the health of the soul. Aristo of Chio, become the best version of yourself. This quote explains the importance of developing strong virtue to live a good life. A healthy soul is a virtuous soul. What steps do you take to improve your character and live a more virtuous life? The Stoic philosophers believed that virtue was the only good and that all other things, such as wealth, health, and pleasure, were indifferent. They argued that virtue is the source of happiness and that it can be achieved through the practice of reason and self-control. Virtue, according to Stoicism, is the key to living a good life and it's achieved by pursuing the right actions and aligning ourselves with the will of nature. When we focus on what we can control, which is our own thoughts and actions, we can find inner peace and contentment. We can't always control what happens to us in life, but we can control how we react to those things. We can choose to focus on what is within our control, such as our thoughts, our actions, and our judgments. This is a core tenet of Stoicism, articulated famously by Epictetus in his words, Some things are in our control and others not. Things in our control are opinion, pursuit, desire, aversion. Things not in our control are body, property, reputation, command. By focusing on what is within our control, we can find peace and contentment regardless of what happens in our external world. In this sense, virtue can be thought of as the ability to live a good life, even when faced with adversity. The Stoics believed that we should strive to be like the wise man, who is virtuous and lives in accordance with nature. The wise man is not perfect, but he is always striving to improve himself. He is able to control his emotions and his thoughts and he is always willing to help others. We can all strive to be like the wise man by developing our own virtue. We can see this in the real world in people like Nelson Mandela, who endured 27 years of imprisonment for his fight against apartheid. He was able to maintain his dignity and his commitment to justice, even in the face of immense suffering. He demonstrates that even in extreme circumstances, it is possible to live a virtuous life. Virtue, as a path, is available to everyone. The more we cultivate virtue, the healthier our soul becomes, and the more capable we become of living a good life. The idea of virtue is also explored in the fictional world. In the movie The Shawshank Redemption, Andy Dufresne, played by Tim Robbins, is a man wrongfully convicted of murder. He spends decades in prison, but he never gives up hope. He uses his time to learn new skills and to help others, even as he faces danger and hardship. Andy's resilience and determination demonstrate the power of virtue to help us overcome adversity. He is a true testament to the stoic ideal of virtue as the path to a fulfilling life. By practicing virtue, we can develop a healthy soul and live a good life. We can control our emotions, thoughts, and actions. Through these practices, we can find peace, contentment, and resilience even when faced with adversity. Like Nelson Mandela and Andy Dufresne, we can strive to be virtuous and live lives of meaning and purpose, even in difficult times.